Hey y'all, uh, Decamon here, and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Last time, we're slowly ingratiating ourselves with the various corporations. Not sure I like that idea, but it seems to be the plan. A couple of fun missions, including that Strider mission. Oh, that thing was a blast. <laughs> so much so that I actually went back and did it a couple more times off screen to grind up a little bit of cash. Yes, 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 I know. You have to do this every single time. I could just start in the garage. I probably should just start in the garage. Oh, by the way, my AC looks just a wee bit different. Gave it a new paint job, a couple parts switched around. I still have the same weapons though, which is a little sad. I've focused more on actually getting the body changed. You know, new legs, new generator. Hoping that'll help out a little bit in the long run. Uh, let's see, actually, do I have a different shield or a different item for here? It's just the shield. All I have is the shield, and I don't think I have enough money to buy anything, but I'll check. Uh, I'm looking for a right back. What do we have? Or, sorry, a left back. Uh, could get myself another little missile pod launcher. It's a big missile pod launcher. Vertical plasma missile launcher. Overhead plasma explosions help to circumvent cover. There's invasion. You know what? That's not bad. Let's give that a shot. I have plenty of weight and energy load to spare right now. Cash is not as good, unfortunately. Let me try this sucker out. Hmm. So instead of a shield, I basically got a big pulse launcher. I can deal with this. If not, well, I saved the design of the last ship. Operation Wall Climber, 330k. Oh, this is going to be a big mission. This request comes straight from Archibus headquarters. They want you to assist with a mission the corporations are calling Operation Wall Climber. This is V2 Snell, leader of the Vesper Second Squad. I will chair the briefing for this mission. This is an operation of my own design. Consider it a privilege to be called to participate. <laughs> you will be attacking The Wall, a key trading outpost fortified by the Rubicon Liberation Front. Ah. The rabble have formed a defensive line comprised of artillery and MT squads. Break through the line, then make your way to the top of The Wall. Hmm. There you shall find the Juggernaut, a mobile heavy artillery platform. Oh. Destroy it. We have a boss fight, sounds like. V4 will also be participating in this mission, infiltrating through a separate route. However, be aware that Balaam has also taken a crack at the wall, only for their vainglorious oh. hopes to be dashed. G4's Don't dead? Not to die like a dog out there. Oh. <laughs> Oh, those smarmy guys from the last episode are dead? What? Oh, that sucks. Your objective is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the Wall. Show them you're worth the credits, 621. Well, considering they're paying me a pretty penny for this one. Main system, activating combat mode. All right. Speaking of pretty pennies, um... Yeah, fine. I... Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city, and the Bows Tetrapod MT further in. There's heavy fire coming from up top. 621. Keep an eye out for cover. You'll never climb the wall, Corporation Dog! Coral, abide with Rubicon! Eh, I should never have. Anyway, as I was saying, um, when I was talking about the Pretty Penny thing, apparently the old games actually had a system where you could lose money on missions if you basically got hit too hard and took too much damage, or, you know, just sucked as badly as I have been. And you could even start going into debt. Like, good night, man. That sounds insane. What am I going after? Ah, here we are. Ah, that's 
smart it. Oh, that would be you, I assume. Ow, he hits hard. Uh, game, you want to stick with the thing I'm locked onto because clearly you are not doing what you should be. Took me everything I had. Stitchpod MT eliminated. That significantly reduces the threat in the city. Access the bulkhead and break into the wall. Oh man, that thing takes a while to fire off. What am I accessing? Oh. Close quarters combat, man. Do you read me? This is V4 Rusty. You're fast. Guess you're sharper than they say. I'll have to step up my own game. A numbered Vesper. He's an elite. But remember, even Balaam couldn't crack the wall. Don't count on him too much. I gotta go through this with half a bar. Come on, lock on. There we go. Man, it is hard to deal with everything. <laughs> Gun here, well, like a half a second. Nearby. The target is close. There we are. Elevator going up. The plasma launcher is not bad, but it definitely ha there's a significant delay for things hitting it. Like a significant delay. Like I hit that thing, and there's a good five, ten second delay from those things landing. I mean, the missiles aren't much better. Like, these missiles are basically designed for anti-evasion. I've dispatched a supply Sherpa. Eh? Make sure you resupply. A supply Sherpa? What is this, and why do I want it? Hmm. Supplies repl- Oh, you bastard, Walter! Dude, you need to send these things more often! <laughs> Oh, he just gave me a resupply. I needed that badly. Oh, dude, check him out. You must be Raven. I love that design. Uh, that music definitely says boss fight. Interesting. Ready to climb the wall? I thought I already climbed the wall. That's the juggernaut, a heavy mobile cannon. Woo -hoo -hoo! I recommend taking it head on. It won't be able to keep up with Steel Haze. I'll distract it while you hit its blind spot. Dude, you named it? Dude, that's Check awesome. He named his mech. <laughs> oh, I gotta figure if I could do that. He does not like me coming at- There we go. Get him! Dude, that did some damage. That's the stuff. Walter knows how to pick him. Yeah, we're doing 
doing good now. Recharge. Whoa. Ah, what hit me? This is V4. Understood. Raven, I just got an update from Snail at command. We've got enemy reinforcements incoming. If I don't intercept them, oh, he's laying landmines, you little. I believe you like this, but you'll have to oh, that's me. what's laying on the ground, <laughs> killing me. So much for our decoy. I gotta stay close to the sky. MP at fifty percent. And this thing's mobile. But I'm more mobile. AP at 50%. Yeah, I got some of my repair kits. Right, up and over, baby. Up and over. Hitting this guy in the armor doesn't help me any. That helped. That's some real damage there, baby. Woohoo! There's those mines again. Light shoulder ammunition at 50%. That's fine. This thing doesn't have as much ammo as I thought it would. I'll wait for everything to reload. <laughs> Woohoo! We got the juggernaut on the first try! <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Juggernaut destroyed. Operation Wall Climber is a success. That pilot, Rusty, it seems he knew who you really are. It won't matter. I've taken that contingency into account. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here and celebrate. I took on a boss and didn't die this time. <laughs> Operation Wall Climber. Oof, my expenses hurt though. Hmm? We're war buddies now. I think I should tell you something. During Operation Wall Climber, Archibus was planning to sacrifice you. Oh. The plan was to use independent mercenaries to clear the way so that the Vespers could step in and take over. Dex. But instead, you took the wall. The higher ups are going to remember you now, that's for sure. As will I. Okay, I like Rusty remembering me. The higher ups, not so much. Oh, new training, new parts. Awesome. Oh, uh, well, let's see what's in the new training. Tetrapods and tanks. Oh, finally. I've been waiting for these to pop up. I've so wanted to try out a tetrapod in a tank style. Tetrapod legs have high loading capacity and enable AC builds equipped with multiple heavy weapons. So this is the big bulky guy. Well, I should say the bulkier guy. Tetrapods can switch to hover mode after ascending off the ground, allowing them to remain suspended for some time. X to hover. I see. And I... Okay, so once I'm locked onto hover mode, I just stay in hover mode. And then I just rain death down from above. And interesting, me being in hover mode doesn't seem to eat my bar. Charge attacks and fire from heavy weapons such as grenade launchers cause more recoil than other attacks forcing ACs to assume a firing stance. Tetrapods can absorb this kind of recoil, allowing them to execute during movement. I noticed that, I saw that. Dude, we're just gonna rain it down. That's all this is, we're raining it down. Land, recharge.
charge the meter. your shield oh it does it is depleting my energy but it's very slow hover mode lets you remain in high altitude in turn making it easier to establish a line of fire and locks without geographic obstructions In turn, I basically just become a mobile death platform. At least until my energy runs out. Okay. So yeah. Oh, again, I did not hit that. Not sure if I'm gonna play a tetrapod style, but it's not bad. It definitely allows for some more heavy weapons, and probably would have been really useful in that Strider mission. Oh, a grenade launcher. Oh, sweet. See, this is why I do these. They have parts. And I like free parts. Plus, now I get to try out a tank. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Big heavy mofo tank. <laughs> tank leg units are heavy armored and boost excellent loading capacity. In addition to lending themselves to highly durable builds, they're also good candidates for high firepower. Tank type ACs are capable of absorbing recoil, which allows them to fire heavy weapons without entering a fire stance. Oh, oh I see. My my uh, my little hand weapons are rapid fire. Whereas my shoulder weapons are really big guns. Drifting? Oh, you're shitting me. I can drift. <laughs> Tank type ACs can drift to change the direction they're facing. Tank you can drift. Move the left stick in the direction you want after a quick boost. <sighs> they can't turn on a dime like the other mechs can. That's the thing. This is definitely a Grin and Barrett style build. Ah, damn, trick. There we go. She's just bouncing off their armor here. Okay, tanks are gonna be a lot of getting used to. I can imagine these are really powerful in the right hands, but whoo boy, they are not my hands. This thing drives like a drunken bantha. Not to mention I am really not liking these heavy tank guys that just absorb everything I do. Dude, you've got to slow down, my man. Okay, finally, that one's dead. That first one did not want to go down. Yeah, the, the drift thing feels weird to me. I don't think I'll be piloting a tank anytime soon. Though I will take the vertical missile launchers. What? I just cleared training. Why are you giving me a new training? Advanced mercenary certification. Uh, okay. Assemble your own AC and complete the evaluation. Sure. So an actual mission using my actual mech. <laughs> During real missions, you can expect enemy reinforcements and other changes to the situation. 
The test of an advanced mercenary is their ability to adjust to a wide range of combat scenarios and adapt their AC assembly to meet the needs of the mission. He's an enemy AC. That's not good. All right, at least managed to get one solid hit in. Is that it? Three waves of enemies? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, that was oh, training complete. I should get a trophy for this. Incoming comms. Congratulations on your certification. You have proven your skills by completing the entire combat training regiment. Aw, there's no more? Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. All Mind anticipates excellent performance. I'm a little sad that that was the last one. <laughs> I'll take the advanced mercenary emblem, though. Was that it? No parts? Eh. I wanted some new parts. What is this? A grenade launcher? A laser rifle? A plasma rifle? A pulse gun? What in the world? Rapid fire pulse gun? Hmm. Interesting. It's a rapid fire weapon. Uh, I do like me a good rapid fire weapon, so I will take it. Uh, I might actually swap out the right shoulder for something else. Homing missile launcher? Uh, missiles hound target during lengthy airborne time, enabling heavy pressure tactics. Uh, that's not bad. Hmm. This is the medium weight model. I can deal with that. I'm effectively a medium weight style. And no, I'm not selling any parts. You can just forget that in a heartbeat. Uh, it does slow me down a little bit, but I'm well within my weight limit. Hmm. Alright, let's see what actual missions we have. Retrieve combat logs for 10k. Must be completed within the time limit. Oh, I see. And 180k. Let's, let's do the combat logs here. 
This is just basically a timed mission. Get as many as I can. One of the Balaam companies has put in a request. Attention, Gun 13 Raven! This request comes from our affiliate Dafung. We're conducting an investigation into the Vespers. Archibus's augmented human squad. Oh, yeah, I know them. <laughs> our focus is on their fourth squad leader, V4 Rusty. Oh. Sweep the route Rusty took during Operation Wall Climber and retrieve combat logs from the wrecks he left on his way in. The wall is now under Archibus's control, and they stationed their MT squads there for the Coral Survey. As such, he'll be targeting the brief window where their main force is deployed elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye on the time and retrieve as many logs as you can. I really hope Rusty doesn't get too pissed at me. That concludes the briefing. <laughs> we expect prompt results, Gun 13. I'm sorry, Rusty. This is what comes from being an independent. I work for everybody. I wonder if there's going to be a point where they're going to make me pick a side. Hmm. Quite possible. 621. You should be used to Rubicon by now. Kind of am. Time to take a break from shooting up the place. Ah, oh, but that's so much fun! Main system, activating combat mode. Oh, four minutes on the clock. Search the nearby wrecks for combat logs recording engagements with V4 Rusty. Oh, here we are. The well dries. Text data extracted from a wreck appears to be the auto transcription for a voice log recorded by an off-duty pilot. The well we found in Gali is going to dry up sooner than later. We just can't harvest as much coral as we used to when what little we do get, the corpse screed out of us. I know we needed to raise mealworms. How many more children must we watch starve? Mealworms? Some more evidence on what the coral situation looks like. Oh, there's another one. At least I assume that's one. Unidentified AC. Open fire! Kill the intruder! Oh, hush. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Analyzing log. There we are. Video record of Steel Haze. Video record extracted from a wreck allows one to discern the assembly of V4 Rusty's AC Steel Haze. The Steel Haze appears to be assembled from a Schneider high mobility frame equipped with weapons that allow for swift, agile action. Notably, Rusty appears to favor kinetic weaponry that Vesper members would not normally use. Oh. This is useful. We've got visuals on V4's AC assembly. Goodbye. Another one. Relogs. Is that the juggernaut? Friendly comms. Comms record extracted from a wreck. This appears to be a conversation between allies prior to the start of the mission. We can't beat the top Vespers. We're as good as dead. At least Z is off duty. She's the Liberation Fund's little sister. She doesn't deserve to be out there on the battlefield. She can still love and be loved. Have a family. Oh, man. Worthless. <laughs> Damn, Walter! Stop! What are you doing here? Looks like they're out scavenging. Could be a dozer. They're still dangerous. There we go. Are we good? Can I extract the data now? Oh, this is a stubborn one. Video record communication attempt. Video record extracted from a wreck contains leftover data from an attempt to communicate with V4 Rusty during combat. How could you? I, I know who you are. I've seen Uncle's files. At least tell me why. Very interesting. This could be worth something. 
Maybe. Not sure what, but it's something. Where else am I going? I gotta get some height. Maybe I can see some more wrecks. Oh, that's the edge of the world. Seriously. That's five logs. Whew! System log the deserter. Extracted from a wreck, allows one to examine the commands received by the craft prior to its destruction. No data regarding offensive or evasive maneuvers detected. It appears that the pilot of this craft immediately pulled the emergency eject lever at the start of the operation. He GT'd the FO. I need to get out of this freaking hole here. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh, there was a second wreck over here. Yes, I'm doing all this climbing. And there's a second goddamn wreck down here. You, AC pilot, you're no comrade of ours, are you? No, I'm not. I'll deal with you in a minute. Little Z? Oh! <laughs> Comms record extracted from a wreck. Oh, uh, it contains leftover data from an attempt to intercept V4's rusty encrypted line. When me comes, Erlong will technology, Elcano, you must hit in then. It'll just That's if you engage her. The mission comes before everything else. Yeah, but she's here, and I kind of want to. Plus, she's got a, a log hunt thing, so that, that makes her a target. I'm a coral warrior, just like the others, and I will not give in. Wrap it up. Archibus's main force will be here any minute now. We've got enough logs to satisfy the request. That's it for this job. Got her. Return to base. I hope that counts. That better count. Acquired combat log. Awesome. I got her at the last second. I'm sorry, Z. I did not get a lot of money for this one. But I will take that log hunt. And a trophy for it. Sweet. Silver trophy, too. Obtain 10 data logs. Hmm. Two new messages. Two? That's new. Gun 13 Raven. You bagged us some decent intel on V4. Report this to Commander Michigan. Additionally, I'll introduce myself. Gun Six Red. But you can call me Sir. <laughs> Privileged to be among Balaam's best, even if I am stuck whipping you independence into shape. Believe you me, I'm gonna put you to work. <laughs> I like Gun Six Red. He's uh, he's no nonsense. Got the Balaam emblem. Guessing this is registration oh. number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. Granting authorization to perform ACOS upgrades. Eh? Additional. All Mind hereby invites you to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Oh? The Arena is a virtual combat simulator designed to support the development of registered mercenaries. <laughs> it also serves as a benchmark to appraise and rank the mercenaries active on Rubicon. We look forward to your participation. Hmm. Okay. Got me intrigued. OS tuning and arena. So what is OS tuning? Expend OST chips in your possession. I don't think I have any. Nope. It says zero in the corner. To upgrade your AC's OS from the OS tuning menu. Upgrading the OS unlocks features and improves functionality. OST chips are obtained in the arena. Uh, well, if that's the case, let's head right to the arena. Fight virtual battles against copies of ACs created using All Minds mercenary craft data from the arena menu. Win arena battles to obtain OST chips, opponent AC data, and opponent emblems. You can use the OST chips to perform OS upgrades. Invincible Rummy, Index Dunham, and G6 Red. Okay. 
Let's, uh... Oh, these are guys are gonna give me some cash and some chips. Awesome! Little 1v1. <laughs> Welcome to the Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. First subject AC, Mad Stomp. Call sign, Invincible Rummy. <sighs> Emblem, Bigfoot. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Doing good here. Oh, he, oh, I have no healing. That's all right. Don't need it. Not against this scrub. <sighs> I like these vertical launchers. They just rain Damn, death terrible. upon them. Concluding evaluation. Well done. That wasn't too shabby. I'm definitely going to be clearing these as best I can. Good cash. Need those chips. Yep, those. I need those. And I get their AC data. I wonder if that means I can build a copy of their mech if I wanted to. Huh. That's actually not bad. Oh, yeah. Verified. Next. Index Dunham. I think we've, we saw this guy. This is a, um, this was in the fight with the two allies. But now we get to fight him alone. Well, now I'm going to see if I can actually take him without the assistance. Aptitude evaluation program, number 28, rank F. Subject AC, burn pickaxe, call sign, index Dunham. <laughs> Emblem, rock and stone. Commencing evaluation. Dude, I just realized he even looks like he belongs from Deep Rock. Activating combat mode. Recharge, please. Where is he? Oh, hi. There you are. Doing too bad. I haven't seen a new blade come up Target in uh, in the store. Concluding I've noticed evaluation. that. Well done. And I really don't want to give up the blade. I really don't. I'd love a rapid fire in the right hand, like a machine gun. Like the assault rifle's not bad. Something with a little bigger fire rate, just a wee bit. <laughs> I'll take all of that. We'll take out the next guy in the freaking arena, and then I can finally look at the OS tuning stuff. G6 red. Uh huh. I wonder if he was in a mission and we just didn't see him. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 27, rank F. Final evaluation. Final? Oh, is this the end of the F's? Hermit. Call sign Gun 6 Red. Oh, red. this is Gun 6 Red? Commencing evaluation. Dude, I'm gonna get to fight against the guy who wants me to call him Sir. Or at least, you know, his simulation data. Where is he? There you are. There goes my ACS too. Ah, oh, 
He's good. This is definitely a better challenge than the last couple have been. There we go. One good stagger. That's all it takes. And he got me to half. Target destroyed. I wonder if the PvP is going to be this bunker. Well done. <laughs> this concludes the F ranks. There we go. Two more OST chips. A new mech design. A new emblem design. Everything's good. Does this mean I'm now officially E rank? Incoming comms. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank F. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All mind exists for all mercenaries. <laughs> I mean, we're glad those are just training because otherwise we'd be picking off our uh, our mercenaries far too quickly. All right, OS tuning. What do we got? Boost kick. Unlocks the ability to perform a boost kick. Boost kick hits with heavy impact by combining the speed of an assault boost with the sheer weight of an AC. L3 during the assault boost. Yeah, that's an easy pick. Uh, weapon bay. Unlocks the weapon bay feature for AC shoulders, allowing shoulder weapons to be replaced with additional hand weapons. That's not bad. Weight control. Unlocks the ability to sortie when AC is overweight and to manually purge weapons. Oh. Oh. Manual aiming. Unlocks the ability to perform manual aim. Oh, that's scary. Quick turn! Okay, yeah, we're definitely taking that. Quick turn sounds good. Assault armor. Unlocks a core expansion. Assault armor and allows it to be installed. Assault armor creates a pulse explosion centered on the AC, canceling out incoming enemy fire and creating a damaging AoE shockwave. Uh, pulse protection creates a pulse barrier in a fixed position, providing cover. Pulse armor. Creates a pulse barrier that trails the AC. Uh, that's tough. Terminal armor. Damn, that's expensive. Terminal armor automatically triggers a pulse barrier when the AC's HP reaches its limit. Greatly enhancing defense until the barrier reaches its durability or time. Oh, so it's, it's basically second chance. Kinetic weapons, fire control tuning. Oh, these are just power boosts. Well, we're gonna take the assault armor. And then I think we're going to take a power boost to kinetic weapons. Just, it's free damage. Like, there's no reason not to take free damage. What else is there? Yeah, just free damage to free damage for crits. Uh, access speed, so basically the download speed, that's fine. Precision of ATC, ACS bracing posture. Same damage for C. Oh, that's just defense boost. That's nice. Repair kit effectiveness boost. Okay, so we're definitely buying most of these as we can afford them. Because they all seem pretty bonkers. And I think, yeah, the assault armor fits in this. So I can finally have that. And I think I have time for one more mission. Investigate boss arsenal number two. Got a job for you, 621. The client is the Rubicon Liberation Front. Wait, what? Here's the briefing. Dude, every mission's been against these guys. The wall dealt us a heavy blow. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. Hmm? I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. Mm. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. Yeah, sorry about that one, this too. This is our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. <laughs> We literally will work for anyone as long as they pay us. Seriously. 
These guys are the ones we've been beating on this entire game, and now all of a sudden we're working for them. Infiltrate paused Arsenal number two and determined why it went silent for 180k. Hey, pays the bills. Some advice before you go, 621. Expect the unexpected. Okay. That's maddeningly unhelpful. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Investigate Baus Arsenal number two. I've been checking the perimeter, and I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? It's too quiet. Survey the Arsenal interior. Where am I going? I don't have a mission marker or nothing. Watch out, Whoa! What in the heck? Six two one. Watch its shots and see where they're coming from. Of course, MDD. Stick to it like glue. You'll lose it if it gets too far. I'm on it. I lost it. How the hell did he get all the way over there? not my finest little moment. Like I said, I need a quick fall. I really... Explain there, Walter. Is that mech behind what happened here? Six two one. Continue the investigation. Okay. We've got stealth craft now. Can I get some stealth tech? Also, apologies if you're hearing weird noise. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. I think one of the neighbors is doing something that's incredibly loud and irritating, and that's smarted. There we go. That got him right. Unidentified machine down. Any more? Keep going and stay sharp. Keep going, huh? Oh, now this clears. <sighs> My scanner takes According up. According to the blueprint, there's a massive water reservoir deep inside the arsenal. If there's anything waiting for us, that's where it'll be. Hmm. Down, down we go. my vertical launcher down here. I need open air for it. All right, that one's down. Now, where's the other one that was shooting at me? Is there a third one? There is a third one. AP at... 50%. Dicks. Maybe use a repair kit. All clear. Keep going, 621. 
This mission's a little more involved than the ones before. I like it. All right, yeah, survey level three. Yeah, that is really loud. Give me half a sec. Is that a coral response? Six to one. Get down and take a closer look. Coral. Dude, my window is shut and I can still hear that loud and clear. What? No doubt about it. This water. What in the heck? Is this a boss room? Here. Six two one above you. He's got a barrier of some kind. That's new. Three of them. No. Four. You're outnumbered. Pick them off one by one, six two one. AP at fifty percent. And this mission got a lot tougher all of a sudden. This one's armor down. Got it. Got the rest of these are all freaking snipers. Identified mech down. Another dealt with. Shoulder ammunition at fifty percent. There's that last one aiming for one remaining. Finish them off. Where is he? Seems that's the last of them. This wasn't a simple check-in after all. Head back and rest up, 621. Also, I have no idea how to use my little active armor thing. Need to figure that out. That was interesting there. I was not expecting stealth enemies. Long time no see, Walter. Looking good for a change. Cinder Carla? I see you've got a new augmented human. What happened to 617 and the rest? Their jobs. They did what it took to get us here. Hmm. Huh. So how's the newcomer doing? Adequately. But Gen 4 augmentation can be unstable. We need to choose our battles. Really? Hmm. How's things on your end? <laughs> I found the data our friends left behind. There's something promising in the watch point. The what point? And who is that? And was she the one who owned the mechs we just wrecked? One new message. Okay. I see your back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. Mm. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. Oh... This is the watch point thing he was talking about, wasn't it? Attack the watch point, yep. Conclu wait a sec. Concludes chapter? Oh. 
Well, if that's the case, I think this is a good spot to stop for now. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite, and subscribe to join me for more giant robot action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.